Hello everyone, welcome to Learn and Flow. In this video, we will discuss another electrical problem that is the count tensor. This is a middle level problem and we will understand how we can solve this question easily and by understanding the question better. So before moving on, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to Learn and Flow for regular late code videos like this. The question says, the count tensor sequence is a sequence of digit strings defined by the recursive formula that is the count tensor 1 is 1 and count tensor A is the way that you'd say the digit string from count tensor A in minus 1 which is then converted into a different digit string. Okay. If we just uh, check here, it's like given 332251. In that case, what will you say? We'll say a 2 3s and then 3 2s, 5, uh, like 1 5 and 1 1, right? And that's what you write it and that's how we create a new string so basically what it means is like for one like the first case is like the first thing we have is one right uh, that's the first thing we get that the first index one then like how we say like there's one one right that's a single one or but how we say there's one one so for the next uh counted say it will be one one right now how we we'll say this? there's like two ones right so they're like two times one is there so we'll say two ones are there so it will be we'll write it two one Fine. Then how will we write it? We'll say there's one two and there's one one, right? So that's one two and then one one is there. Now further, if we need to say this, how will we say this? We'll say this by there's a uh, one 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 time one is there. Then there's one time two is there. Then there's two time one is there, right? That's how we'll say this. Further, how will we go ahead further? There's three time one is there, like three one. Then two times two is there, then one time one is there, right? So that's how we keep on going uh, in this sequence. Then how we'll do that with our next sequence will be something like one times three is there, one time one is there, two times two is there, then uh, two times one is there, right? So this way, see our sequence keeps on going. Okay, that's how this is that. That's like we. It's like we would say the digit string from count say n minus one. Okay, so this is like uh, count say one is this, count say two is this, count say three is this, four is this, uh, five is this, then count say six is this, count say seven is this, and this way our our graph goes on, or the sequence goes on. Okay, so that's the sequence we are trying to look for. Now, what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to find the count say n. Like it will give us a number n, and we are supposed to return us return this particular value that we come across. Fine. Now, how will we go to that? The first thing, like we should go as if as we see, like we should go from top to down, right? We should go from this manner. We we cannot uh, go from breaking it recursively back and uh, coming back. Like that may be a difficult one. So first, easiest way is to just keep going in the forward manner as we found out these values. Fine. Now, uh, what, like how will we go ahead with that? We will uh, say we'll repeat these steps like this uh, calculative steps for how many times we'll repeat this steps for n number of times fine after repeating these steps n number of time like this calculator uh, we will have our answer so that's sure that we'll be calling uh, like using a, a loop of n right now what we're supposed to do further we need to see like the count of each of the characters one by one whatever be the previous character is we need to find a count of each of the character one by one and then Append it with like count and then the character itself and then the count of the next character and the next character itself. Like two one is there, so the count of number of twos is one. Then the uh, character whatever we had that's two itself. Then there's one one is there, so we you added a count of one as fast and then the character itself the second. So this is the sequence we'll keep following through the whole line. Fine. So this is not a, a pretty much tough question. I think it's pretty much understandable how we can go ahead with this uh, understanding or how we can step by step go ahead. Like, uh, but remember, this is like a string. Okay? Don't forget this. This is a string. Yeah. Okay. So how we should do that? We should uh, be um, open to use something like string builders because we need to append those values or uh, first the count numbers and then the values itself. Okay. So we should go continuously append those values. So be open to use that uh, uh, string or rather be open to use that uh, string builder. Okay, so we'll use that and we'll find a solution to that. So let's quickly write the solution and then I'll uh, show you how this exactly works on what we're saying. Like this is pretty simple. I hope you can understand that we're just counting the number of digits, then adding that the count and then the digit result. Then the count of the next digit and the digit result. So that's how it's going on. So let's quickly go ahead and write a solution to this um, function, like the, this approach.
So you can see like this is a four mm solution and there is like pretty fast solution we have. So let's understand what exactly we did with uh, our solution. So as we discussed that first we will take the first character as a one. So that is the count and say one. Okay. Then from two till n, we'll simply go on uh, repeating this uh, steps. And in that we'll simply call our the string to, to our count index and return and save it into our current string. Okay. So that's updating our string again and again. And after that, we'll simply return our final string uh, at count and its position, right? So what's happening with this count index? So we took a string builder to just uh, do this append or uh, addition, like adding those characters easily. So the string builder is helpful for us, right? So then what we took, we took the first character as a character C and we took our initial count as one, fine. Then from the next character, like uh, I equal to one till less than length, we're checking if the character is equal to the previous character, or the starting character or the character we hold in our C. So if that is equal, we are simply incrementing our count. That is the number count is increasing. So there are like three, three times four, uh, one is there. So that means uh, we are just increasing the count. That is a three. Okay. So that first string is increasing. And else if we find no, that's, that there's not a equal. So that means uh, the digit is changed. Now we need to append those values, right? Now we took the store those values. So what we first do, we first appended the, uh, in our string builder, we first append the count, like whatever the count we came across. Okay. And then we appended the particular characters. So what, what if, if you just look ahead in this example, the example we have over here is like, uh, there's like three, two times three, right? So we just counted like there's two, the count became two. And then what is the character character was three. So what we did, we just uh, appended count. So that means that two is uh, appended. Then we appended the character itself. So that means the three is get appended, fine. And then we uh, like initialize those values, initialize the values to your current values. So once we found the difference, so we are doing this, right? So what we did, we just changed our current character to our, uh, like this changed our previous character. It was three previously. So we changed it to our current one, that is two. So that's what we're doing over here. And then we are increment, uh, like uh, reducing count to one. That is a current count became one. So that's what we did. Fine. And then we just followed this whole step. And at the end, at the end, when we end up with the last character, so at the end, you will see there's no check for the next character. So what will happen? We need to append those values uh, by default. Okay. So we did the same thing. We simply appended the count and the C. Fine. So we simply appended those and, and finally returned our substring. Uh, by the string, like uh, our string builder or two string returns the string, right? So we simply return the string. So this thing is return the string will be stored again to the previous uh, as we had in our uh, main function, the counter set function, fine. So this is how the question works. So I hope I can make you understand how you can uh, solve this question and how easily you can think on uh, finding solutions to this kind of questions, okay? So this is like pretty much fast solution, but you know, this lit code has this uh, its own uh, madness. So it doesn't go for that. So, that's all about this video guys. So thank you all for watching this video and hope to see you soon in my next video as well. Thank you all.